Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I am Sabi from Code Evolution. So today I am showing you a new requirement of the eBayomatic plugin and the eBay API. So they created a new requirement for usage of their API and I just updated the eBayomatic plugin to match this new requirement. So let me show you how this will uh, this change will look and what you will need to do to uh, continue using the eBayomatic plugin and the eBay API. So keep in mind that this is a requirement, that, uh, meaning that you will need to do the steps shown in this video if you want to continue using the eBay API and the eBayomatic plugin. Okay, so first of all, you need to update the plugin to version 3.1 or newer. And in these versions, you will find in the main settings of the plugin, eBay account closure notification settings. So first of all, you will need to go to the, your eBay app settings by clicking here and uh, click on your app notifications here. So I don't show how to create an app. I don't show these parts. I will show only how to set up the uh, alerts and notifications which is a requirement to you be to be used when using the eBay API so if you don't configure this uh, in the coming month then you might get your API suspended by eBay so yeah you should go ahead and do this right now okay so first of all you will see that the Plugin requires an eBay verification token and provides a marketplace account deletion notification. So what you need to do is go to this screen in the alerts and notification uh, page of your uh, eBay API and select marketplace account deletion. Leave this checkbox unchecked. This is important. Add your email address here. And afterwards, you will be able to edit the marketplace account deletion endpoint. So this will be copied from here. So copy this string that the plugin provides here with red. So copy it and paste it here. Afterwards, you will need to create a verification token. This must be created by you and can be any string. But keep in mind that its length must be between 32 and 80 characters. So I uh, created a simple string of 32 A letters. And this must be entered here. The same thing must be entered here in the verification token and also in the eBay verification token settings field from the plugin. So the 42 lowercase a letters will be entered also here. Keep in mind that this must be between 42 and 80 characters and click save settings. Afterwards, you will be able to go back here and click save here. And when you save, you will be able to see a success message. So marketplace account deletion notification endpoint settings successfully saved, meaning that you are ready and you are done setting up the uh, eBay account and the new eBay API requirements. Okay, so this was all that you would uh, need to do. And uh, starting from now, the API will uh, fit the new requirements from eBay and you will be able to use the API key that the plugin provided. So and the API provided. Also, if you uh, hit the send test notification, it will also work as you will see. So let me explain a bit about what this uh, actually does. So eBay uh, requires the in their new requirements that if a seller deletes their accounts from eBay, then all uh, people uh, who use the content that this uh, deleted account publish should also delete that content. And uh, this endpoint does the same thing. So if a seller is uh, deleting their uh, products, for example, then eBay will ping this URL with some info. And uh, yeah, basically the plugin will delete that seller's 
products from uh, other sites. Okay, so yeah, this is what is happening. This is how to configure it. Keep in mind that the verification token can be anything you wish, but keep it between 32 and 80 characters. And uh, in the rest, it's uh, basically how I showed you will not uh, need to do anything else. So yeah, thank you for watching until the end. I hope this video helped. And if you haven't uh, checked eBayomatic, I will link it in this video's description so you will be able to check it and uh, grab it if you want to use it. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.